Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. We're looking at the Euro Punch pliers by Eurotool. These are hole punch pliers and they're really fun to use. So I have four different pairs of pliers in front of me. The first one makes a round 1.25 millimeter hole punch. The second makes a round 1.5 millimeter. The third one also makes a round 1.5 millimeter, but you'll notice a lot longer neck here. I'll talk about that in more detail in a minute. And then the fourth one makes a round 1.8 millimeter hole punch. And they're meant to be used with 18 gauge and thinner sheet metal and blanks. And I have some sterling silver here, I have brass, a whole variety. Now let's take a little closer look at one of these pliers. So if you notice, it's got a really nice, comfortable handle, easy to squeeze, no difficulty at all there. And then if we look up top, you'll see where the actual hole punching takes place. It has this little pin right here, and there is a hole on the other nose of the plier that that pin is gonna go through. Now, these are very strong. They're not gonna wear down very quickly, but if you do a lot of punching, they will eventually wear down. And what's really nice is you get a little replacement pin with your pair of pliers, but they do last a really long time. And if you ever do need more replacement pins, they're available at fusionbeads.com. So I'm gonna show you how this actually works. Again, this is the 1.25 millimeter size. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, if this is the top of our blank, if this is what we want people to see, we're gonna go ahead and flip our pliers so that the actual pin is on the bottom and the hole punch, the, or the little hole is up top. And I'll show you why we're gonna do that in just a sec. So I'm just gonna insert my blank. You can see it's gripping it. And that's nice because we can see very, very precisely exactly where it's going to punch. And we're gonna squeeze. You can actually hear it. And then you just wiggle it out. So you'll notice on this side is a very clean punch. And over here it is really quite clean as well. There's just a little bit of a ring that sometimes occurs because of the way that pin is designed. If that doesn't bother you, because I think it's very hard to see, then you're good to go. A one quick tip we do have, uh, pro polishing pads. You could go ahead and insert one right on your metal piece, so right uh, where that pin is, and that's gonna cushion it a little and then you won't have that. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here. So that's a 1.25 millimeter punch. We're gonna do a 1.5 punch right next to it. Just wiggle it out. Okay, so you can see it's a bigger punch and then the largest is the 1.8. Okay, so we have small, medium, and large. Now, remember we talked about these both make a 1.5 millimeter hole punch. The difference is the length of the neck. So on this one here is a half inch reach. So let's say we're using this big blank right here and we wanna be in the center of it. It's really hard to get to the center, it doesn't quite reach. But with the long neck, you can get wherever you wanna go on this piece and you can definitely find your center. This one does have this extra little screw here. Don't worry about it. You're not going to adjust it. It's just part of the construction of the plier. So why would you use this plier? Well, you can use this plier to create holes in blanks that don't have any. So this one didn't have a hole to begin with. So you can go ahead and choose where you want your hole. You can do a decorative design. You can turn a pendant into a link. So really a lot of different options for using these pliers and they are quite easy to use. You can find them at fusionbeads.com.